Oh, this is gonna be a hard one. Am I ashy? Is that ash? That is ash. Hey beauties, it is me, the person that has been missing for I don't even know how long, Jessica Nicole. And I am here today with a glass of ice water, my Rosé Mansion cup, and a bag of organic dried mangoes. Today, we're going to chat. I'm not going to do, we're going to chat and I'm going to do my makeup while chatting. Uh, forgive me if this video is going to be all over the place because I didn't have anything lined out. I wanted to be, wanted this video to be as authentic as possible. Also, uh, my makeup look is nothing crazy. It's going to be my everyday makeup look just because I wanted to focus more on talking with you guys and just getting out where I've been, what's been going on, how I've been feeling, and why I am where I am today. Um... If you guys don't want to hear me talk or talk about what has been going on in my life, you're more than welcome to exit this video. Um, I'm not here for any negativity. And just know that this video is going to be a start of a new person, new perspectives, and it's going to be great, I promise you. So any of the products that I use will be in the description bar down below because I'm not going to want to stop and tell you guys what I have used. But you are more than welcome to write in the comments down below and ask me what I used in whatever time point. So mind the scarf, okay, I'm trying to keep this ponytail secure. By the way, this is no specific curl. This was body wave hair, some cheap bundles that I bought from the beauty supply, and I just put some long curls in it because I was not trying to waste my good bundles on a ponytail. Uh, but other than that, I'm going to shout out my gang. I'm not shouting out anyone in specific. I just wanted to let you guys know that I love y'all and for hanging in there for these past three to four months that I've been missing. I promise you this wait was more than I expected, but I just love y'all for hanging in there with me. So if you are joining me in this video and you are watching it, you are definitely my notification gang and I'll wait you three to four months. This is the longest I have ever been missing in my entire my entire YouTube career. Um, and I do not plan to go missing for this long. I promise you the plan was to step back for a little bit and come back. That was the plan, but so many things happened in between that time that kept pushing things back and making things worse and worse and worse for me that I just threw that to all the way to the back burner. Oh man. All the way to the back burner because I could not just, I, I couldn't take it. Like I felt like I was physically and emotionally not there. Let's start off with what started off in this bad situation. So I was this entire time, and I'm not joking you, this entire time that I've been missing, I have been very depressed. Um, this is the longest in my entire life that I've been depressed. Um, and this time my depression was more so not me, you know, just usually I just lay in bed and just let the days roll by or whatever the case may be. But this time I was just super emotional. I would cry all the time and I never understood this type of depression with me. And it was very, very scary. Um, it put a strain on a lot of things with me, especially my relationship with my fiance. We are fine, but it did put some form of a strain. Um, and it was it was just very very different for me um can i say this i feel like a big factor in why i got into this depression was working at morphe um and by the way just to let you guys know i am no longer working at morphe i've not been working at morphe for a little while now and i'll get into that later on in the video but i will tell you that it gave into some of my depression um just my career all in all and 
I'm not here asking for sympathy. I'm just letting you guys know. I want you guys to understand that I am human. This is mainly what I'm doing this for, for you guys to understand that I am human and I go through things just like the rest of you. And being in front of this camera sometimes is way too much for me. So I have to step back and get myself back together in order to give you guys the person that you love so much. <laughs> Which is me, you know? It was really, really bad for me because I just, I've never felt so emotional. I've been like, you know, depressed where I'm like what the hell's wrong with me but I've never been depressed where I'm just crying uncontrollably um sobbing like in the shower and just questioning everything and it was just more so my career I felt like my career was at a standstill I wasn't going anywhere YouTube was just you know going backwards for me and it was just confusing and I couldn't take it you know so I just, I don't know, I just, just fell into that depression. So I started to just focus more on uh, my artistry outside of YouTube. And then that's when everything happened with Morphe and it wasn't so great. Yeah, so that happened. I fell into depression. It was really, 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 really bad. Uh, I decided to start going to a little therapy I go to this beautiful young lady um, she doesn't seem like she's that much older than me um, that's just me guessing but you don't black no crack so I've been going to her for months now um, do I see progress a little bit um, she gives me challenges on how to deal with going forward in life so that I can deal with all of what I go through but that was my first step into dealing with depression and uh, that's really not all that I've been dealing with, with as far as my depression but it is mainly what I was dealing with just the emotional aspect of me not understanding why I was so damn emotional but then when I sat down and told her how I was feeling, she kind of helped me because she didn't say much. But she kind of helped me to kind of help me to understand what brought me there and what I allowed to get me there and why I've always, especially as far as like YouTube and like my career why I'm always falling into this depression and I understand that I compare myself to a lot of people around me um because I see a lot of people moving forward and also um I'm very oh, super hard on myself and I know that one, that one for a fact, I know for a fact I'm super hard on myself. And I'm hard on myself because I just want so much for me. I want so much for me. I want to, so much for my family, my fiance. I want everyone around me to move forward in life. And when I feel like I'm at a standstill, it scares me, you know, because I know me, I put so much into what I do. And if I'm not seeing any results, it starts to scare me that maybe this isn't for me or maybe I'm not cut out for whatever I'm doing. So like, that's what brought me here. Um, as far as Murphy, because I know you guys are probably here for that, I quit Murphy because um, it was a very toxic environment for me, even though some people on the outside looking in, especially my coworkers, if they're watching this, they probably will feel like there was nothing for me to leave for. But because a lot of people in there felt like there was favoritism and I was quote unquote one of the favorites. And there was definitely favorites, I'm not gonna lie. And there was definitely ways that they showed their favoritism or put people to the forefront. But I will say, that how can I say this without 
I don't want to seem ungrateful because I did have an okay experience. So I'm, I'm just going to speak my truth. I felt like even though, you know, some people were pushed to the forefront and I got experiences that a lot of people did not get there, I felt like in a way I was being used and so did my friend who was also pushed to the forefront. He also left um, before me. I was planning on leaving a long time ago because I couldn't take it anymore. Um, also, while being there, I found out that there was counterparts, other people in there who were getting paid more than me with less experience or less talent than I did. And when I spoke up about it, it was more so brushed off and I didn't like that. That was very um, uncomfortable for me because it was like, damn, am I not as talented as I thought I was because, you know, before I said something about pay and stuff like that, there was no problem, you know? And I was being pushed back now at this point. I wasn't being pushed to the forefront. I wasn't um, that person anymore. My friend was, and I was very much so happy for him. Um, but even him, who was being pushed to the forefront in a way, he didn't want it. And I didn't want it anymore either. And it was just so much. You're giving you all this work, and more so people around us were being compensated more. I feel like I highlighted my chin too much. I'm gonna go back over that with some foundation. And we're over here like, what the hell? <laughs> And we're being like brushed off so we couldn't take it anymore also it was a very manipulative environment because when we did speak on things that was bothering us it was like especially when we spoke to our manager about leaving it was more of a conversation of you're not gonna find anything better out there you're gonna get more money but you know more of a headache type of thing it wasn't more so, okay, what, how can I fix this? And it was very upsetting. Um, it opened my eyes. And uh, it just showed me that that place wasn't where I belong at this time of my life. But when that happened, it also made me feel like, shit. Maybe I'm not this talented. Maybe um, I'm holding myself so high and I'm not, you know, as special. Not to the brand, but to myself, you know, as I thought I was. Like maybe I was thinking to myself, I'm this talented, I'm this person, I'm this special. I'm really fucking not. I'm not. Like, Maybe my work isn't as great as I thought it was. So, and then YouTube was just moving really slow for me as far as like, you know, even though they always tell you don't watch like your views and stuff, but my views were like plummeting. So that was like, oh shit, like <laughs> what the hell is going on? So I just fell into this like state, like I wasn't good enough and I'm like, okay, now that this is going on and I realize this, what am I going to do? And sorry for the background noise, I have my window open because these lights are hot. Um, I put all my eggs into one basket. Well, not one basket, but into this basket, into the realm of makeup, into the realm of artistry. And now, if all of this fails, have nothing what am I going to do and it scared the out of me I panicked <laughs> let's be real I panicked I didn't know what to do where to go who to talk to because I felt like nobody that I was around understood because one my friend um, Oliver 
this wasn't what he wanted for the rest of his life. This wasn't what he considered his end all be all. This was mine, but he did explain to me like, listen, if makeup was to end today, I'm good. And me, on the other hand, I'm like, if makeup was to end today, what the hell would I do? You know, I didn't finish college. I, I dropped out of college. I did so, like, what the hell would I do? So I started thinking about going back to school, which I am. Um, so, so many things. So I'm like, oh, this, I can't, I can't sell myself so damn short. Even though, like, you know, people tell me I'm talented. Of course, there's people that's more talented than me out there. But, like, I can't sell myself short. So, what the, am I going to, what, what am I going to do? So, yeah, put my two in at my feet. In my car. <laughs> my car was a hot mess. My car started acting up. My brakes kept going out. Um, so, so, that happened. So, I was just going through it and poor Keon he's watching me go through it and he just doesn't know like how to help me and I just thank God for him because he's such the sweetest man yeah poor Keon he's watching me go through this after all of that I'm back here to say that I'm back and I said that before but like so much has happened since then I have not worn makeup in so long. I like I've worn makeup, but like really like sat down and like looked at myself. I miss doing this. I will never, in a million years, do makeup retail ever again. I'm not meant for makeup retail at all. I want to thank them for the experience. But never again. Never again. I hate being sold a dream and being let down. That right there will drive a nigga crazy. Uh, another thing I didn't share with you guys, my eight year anniversary with Keon was the 16th of December. So that was another thing. That was a happy moment. Uh, we went to Sip and Paint a couple days before our anniversary and that has gotten me into wanting to paint. So Keon and I will be dabbling in that hair and there. Hopefully I get good. But I just wanted another form of expression. Cause you know even though makeup is one of my forms of expression, so another way. I told y'all I left more every evidence for y'all to I'm back at bartending. I'm not back at bartending because I love it, because I really don't. I'm back at it because we have a wedding to plan. Um, and if y'all never did this before, weddings are not cheap. Um, but we did put wedding planning on pause when I started going through what I was going through because I physically, I like, and emotionally, I just wasn't here. Like, I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to leave my house unless I had to go to work. And as I came home from work, I didn't want to do anything but either sit in my couch or lay in my bed. And that was just me the entire time. And some people think when you're depressed, you just don't get out of bed, don't go to work. I mean, there has been times where I've called out of work because I am depressed, but you... You still do things. You still, if you have a job, you, sometimes you still go to work. But once you hit that house, you don't want to do anything. The way that I got out of it, I called friends over. I invited friends over, had like a little night. A lot of my friends didn't show up, but that's another story. <laughs> but I just had like a little night with my friends or whatever and called it a day because I just, I needed to just get out of this funk. I hope you guys still love me, you know? Enough to still feel well with y'all and fun subscribe, so y'all stay good with the kid over there. Um, yeah. So for 2020, um, me and Keon started the channel but never got started on it. Like, we did the setup and everything, but we never actually got started on the channel because, and that's what we recorded the vlog of us looking at the news for it because we wanted to like start a channel together, but. 
like I said, everything plummeted. I've gotten to like depression right in the beginning of us starting it all. And also our schedules now with my new job just do not cohere. The only days we have together is Friday and Sunday. And sometimes he'll end up at work on Friday. And sometimes I'll end up at work on Friday. And sometimes he'll end up at work on a Sunday. If it's especially during now because it's holidays. So he has to do two Sundays. Um, hopefully it works out once we figure out if we get the channel off the floor of course you guys will be the first to know because i know y'all would love to support that y'all would love to see more of us together as one um as a little family <laughs> it's just us two um another thing for 2020 i am working on getting back on track with this channel I remember there was times back in the day where your girl, if you are a true rider, where I used to post twice a week. And if I didn't post twice a week, I was posting every week. And I don't know where it went from that to now me just posting sporadically, but I think it's this apartment, to be honest. I think this apartment just has some bad review and it's hard for me to get back on my feet with this, but I'm gonna fight through it. <laughs> um but yeah, I want to get back to just posting twice a week, get back to loving y'all the way I used to love y'all and spend time with y'all and just, you know, being Jessica and Cole or whatever, even though it's not a different person from who I am. Um, and I just want to say to those of you who have came in the store and showed me so much, and I, I can't explain how much, who has came in that store as a subscriber, seen me, spoke to me, never was afraid to talk to me. Even the ones that have came in there with your face deep, you are asking me for my discount. You know, all tired and a blood clad, but it's okay. <laughs> um, I still love y'all. Okay. By the way, this is just bronzer in my crease. Um, I don't know when. No shades in some people, but when they just wear like their lid blank and then a lash, it bothers me. I can't do it. And I used to, but I started doing it and I was just like, this just looks so weird. So I just take a blending brush and just blend some bronze in my crease just to look like something. And that's all I do. It just looks like I have something going on in my eye, and then I'll just pop my lash on. This is my happy day look. <laughs> um, happy to be back. I feel different. I don't feel like the old me, and I'm not saying it as a bad way. I feel different. Like, I feel like I'm in a different path. I feel like there's a new me. I feel like maybe that's why I had to go through that super emotional depressed part of my life to just come back and come back stronger and whatever comes with it i'm ready first of all these dry needles are the shit oh not to revert back to morphe but i just remembered another reason why i could like it started to i started to tell myself i didn't want to be there and I remember because I'm using this mascara. By the way, this is Nabla Major Pleasure Mascara. I really, really love this mascara. This was gratis from Murphy, and I'm just now starting to use it because I've had like tons of mascaras like in my jaw. And it's a beautiful mascara, but why? <laughs> and this was gratis. This was my last piece of gratis from the company before I left. Um, so why I started to think about the brand or whatever is because... <laughs> I um I remember that I got annoyed, very annoyed because you guys know before Morphe I've already I don't have like a platform. I don't like to look at myself as like a huge YouTuber, but I was already doing this. And basically we were told in a meeting that when it came to YouTuber drama that was affiliated with the company, I couldn't speak on it. Um, when it came to gratis or whatever product I received from the company, I can only, before speaking on the product, I would have to let it be known that it was either gratis or I bought the product, or whatever the case may be. 
And I felt like in a way, working for the company also, I love their products. I cannot downplay their products. Whatever you guys have seen me use on this channel, if I liked it and you saw me use it more than once, it was because I either bought it or I really loved the product. Because at the end of the day, I work for the company, right? And no matter if it was gratis or not, why does it matter? You know what I mean? In the beginning, I was excited because I was like, oh, I get first dibs. I get to like let you guys know because that was the most exciting part for me. It's like I get to let you guys know like what new product they're coming out with or whatever the case may be. But then it turned into like another job. Like I had to like share, you know, and I just, I couldn't. I felt like a robot basically while I left. I felt like a robot and I wasn't happy. I was there for the artistry and not for anything else and I felt like I just wasn't me anymore. So I had to go. Yeah that's all. I just want to work more on me. Uh, become whoever God has meant for me to be. Follow his footsteps and just follow whatever he's telling me to do. Um, by the way, the running dreams that came back, I wonder why, <laughs> but they came back and so has a lot of like things that popped up in dreams, but I guess I'll try to interpret those at the end of their video. This lip gloss I'm about to use is from K Rain Beauty. I will leave all the information to her brand below. This is a subscriber from back in the day. She's a fan of me. Um, also, if they don't shut up. Also, my boo, she sent me, I don't know if this was every single color she's ever made, but she sent me her lip glosses. And this one is my favorite. One, because it's clear with glitter. And two, because this thing smells like candy. It's called Nerdy Bear. This thing smells like freaking candy. It is my everyday look with my lopsided part ponytail. <laughs> okay, I brushed this ponytail. So my part looks horrible but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> welcome me back with open arms happy new year um let me know down below what your new year uh goals are don't tell me go to the gym either because you're starting the beginning of the year and don't finish so no i'm just kidding but yeah just let me know in the comments down below what you plan to do this year coming Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. <laughs>